Well, nearly a month since the city banned disposable plastic bags. Is it working? Is it doing what it was supposed to do? Dorothy Tucker took a trip to the store to find out in this original report. Packing paper is the norm at Mariano's. Gone are the disposable plastic bags banned by the city council in an effort to save the environment. This is not doing that. Jordan Parker didn't like the ban when it was passed, and she doesn't like it now. Why? She says what's being used now is worse. These bags are thicker. Absolutely. They're larger. It's three to five times more plastic that's now ending up in our environment or the landfill. Plus, they cost more money. Compared to two cents for the old bags, these range from six to 12 cents a piece. And guess who pays for it? The retailers are simply passing on that cost. Retailers promote the new bags as reusable, but Parker says most people don't bring them back. Just out of curiosity, we decided to do a test. Two stores, 20 people, how many of them bring back the bags? I forgot them today. That was the majority. Seven of the ten people we stopped at Jewel came in without a bag. Three had reusable ones. Proper planning. At Mariano's, nine out of ten were slackers. Only one carried a bag. Again, most claim they forgot, and one admitted she's not a fan. I am missing plastic. Parker would like to see all plastic banned. She believes an amendment charging customers for any bag is the only way to force shoppers to bring their own. Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Now, we reached out to the alderman who proposed the ban. We wanted to see what they thought about the criticism that the ban isn't working, 